Hi, Carol. Hi, Smoggy. Yes, yeah, so just a quick update really on the court, <coughs> on the court case because everyone's been asking what's been going on. Uh, so just wanted to update you uh, with regards to Brian. Um, he he was given he was up on the twenty fifth of November. Um, the publisher from the, from the dodgy publishing company was given seven days to provide invoices and paperwork and proper accounting. Uh, which had a penal notice attached to it, which which carries a custodial sentence. So if you don't do it, so it means that they have to get this paperwork in. Um, it's still ongoing. So Brian's going to update you with big news on that next week. So um, which we'll be able to show you all proof about as well. So in the meantime, I'm going to pass you on to Terry uh, Dixon and Mark <coughs> Turner, who have also just recently been at court this week as well. Right, John. Right, good evening, everybody. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to show this. This is a court letter uh, for today. Um, court letter for today for people to uh, realize that this is an official letter. Uh, I had an IBD in this morning at 11 o'clock. Um, the so-called author come on first, and uh, then the publisher. The publisher um, said he didn't know about it, but this is his ploy. He's done it. He's done it in the past. Done the same thing. Didn't know about. It. He's fully aware of it. And I actually chipped in and said that the judge, you know, um, I got my paperwork okay. So why did he get this? The top and bottom of all is they're just stretching for time and stretching for time. That's when right. I was in court last, sorry, Maddie, when I was in court last time, um, the judge um, said to the so-called author, the false author, that uh, I'm giving you uh, 28 days to get this in, in line and give Mr. Dixon what he wants, which was the full accounting of the book, a full disclosure. So I knew what, what they told and what they hadn't told. Uh, the so-called author said, I can't do that. The judge said, I'm not asking, I'm, I'm ordering you to do it. Anyway, we've went, we've come back to court today, eleven a.m. and um, got old, got hold of the uh, publisher. Publisher said he hadn't, didn't know not about it, um, and that um, he has been getting letters. Well, utter, utter rubbish, utter, absolute rubbish. But the top bottom with all is all is in hand now. Um, now the the publisher has been warned by the judge. This is the last time, the last one and chance you'll get. No more after this. You must provide this, what uh, Mr. Dixon's asked for. Just chasing about for time and chasing about for time. I also have other issues with um, the false author. He has a picture of my little girl, what was to go on the back of the book I wrote, uh, Ruby's, Ruby's Garden, about the insects she loved. Funny little story of a little girl I love. Um, he never done that. Um, and he then turned on and said to uh, Brian that it wouldn't make money. It wasn't about making money. He only wanted 10 copies or so. But that's what a daddy does for his little girl who he loves. Uh, my little girl's 11 now. Uh, so the one condition that he used the poems in the Blood Moon book was because um, he's going to do the book, get the book published from the little girl. He didn't do that. So it's, co it's copyright theft. There's no right to use them poems. Yeah. They've sold a lot of Blood Moon books. So it's going to cost him. Also, the documentary on Lee Duffy, The Old of the Moon, I was in that. He never paid me. Any monies I get, I'll give it to the homeless. Now, um, you've got um, the so-called, well, the publisher, saying, I bet you haven't got receipts for that. Well, if you know, <laughs> if you know any homeless person with a receipt book, <laughs> I think I'm going to give money to give me receipts. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So um, where we're at now is that there's no more chances. So he's got to leave. They give him 14 days, which you've ended up at Christmas. And they said, right, OK, you can do it on the, on the 28th. So he's got till the 28th to give me everything what I've asked for. 
Come on to Marty. Um, Marty was in court Tuesday gone. Tuesday gone. And yeah. um, basically, what's happened yeah. is that the, the the judges warned them, "You must do this. You must do that." He's got forced disclosure. They've also been ordered to reimburse Marty the money what he paid for the cause. He has to pay. And he got um, a penal notice. And he got a penal it. notice to go to prison if he doesn't abide by what what he's asked for. Well, he hasn't abided on one stop, one case. They haven't abided with my case, and now. We've got till the 28th. But regarding, yeah. regarding Mar Marty, it's so sad and shocking that Marty, how old do you know, Marty? 75? I'm 75 now, yeah. 75 year old. He wrote that book for the benefit of his grandchild who's got a disability, God bless him. I mean, he was, was in the wardrobe for 10 years. Yeah, so he's had this book chucked away for a long time. The so called daughter decided to come round and uh, chance he'd look, let's say. Well, the best for this, Terry, excuse me a minute. Yes, yeah, certainly. There's, there's three books. Of from boys to champs, yeah. The original one, right, is in Up the Open Matthews, yeah, that's right, yeah. right, which I can produce anytime. That would be in your deed box, that's, that's what they call that's, deed boxes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's in, in the deed box. <coughs> I can produce that anytime in court, any yeah. anytime. Yeah, I could go to the county court and say, Well, yeah. there's the original, yeah. Book. So, so, what, and, what, and not only that, not only that, tell you, not only that. Lee Duffy's book, right, was wrote. And some of the, the pages, I had nothing at all about Lee Duffy in my book. It's what he was told of me, mm. personally. Yeah, so he's turned that into a, he's into turned a, that a chapter. He, or, so. He's turned that into a chapter and took pages out of my book. Yeah, absolutely shocking. Right? That's what, that's what he's done. But what well, I should to... say his wife was done. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. But so, when, when you confront him on that, Marty, he said, oh, what's your name on the book? He's got hold of the book like that with, yeah. with his thumb, with his thumb over, his... over over the name yeah. of the false author. And he said, hey, what's that there? Why are you in this book? He said, oh, well, I can get you this, I can get you this, I can get you the doors open for that. Yeah. I have never in my life, and I can mean this, look, at I, I, I know what I was in my life. I've always been approachable, I've always been polite, but I've never come across people like them. Uh, to, to, to go out the way... And uh, target a man of his age, yeah. a, a respectable man who loved in his community, you know. And you won an award, didn't you, Marty? Yeah, I've got the award. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, I've said for a long time, Marty. On the 25th you know, of this month. I've said for a long time, you deserve uh, an OB yeah. or an AB, you know, uh, uh, OBMB for service and support and to the community. I've got the, I've got the, B, I've, I've got the, uh, the British. British. Citizenship. Yeah, well, that's good yeah. and credit to you. And so I went down to Westminster. So there, but when I talk to pe people, Marty, when I'm out and about talking to people, they say to me, when I've told them a story, absolutely disgusting. We love Marty. Even yesterday, I got a taxi up here and Pete, the taxi driver, oh, I've known Marty all my life. Lovely, lovely yeah. lad. Anyway, the top and bottom dollars, Marty's um, transcript is in the deed box of his solicitors. Um, the so called daughter got it, went to his house. Give him a copy. He's then come back and took pages out and put the story in about Lee Duffy. Lee was my friend. I absolutely loved the lad. And the likely and the, 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 the positivity for me, I've stood by him for 30 years while he's been dead. He's my friend. He's come in for a second. He's also put his name in the book as the main... Co-writer, co wasn't he? Co-author. Co yeah. Co-author, i.e. Yeah. He wrote it with you, which is untrue. Yeah, which is untrue. Yeah. What he did was he, he copied but, stuff, literature, out of somebody else's book yeah. and put it into this one, which is, and then, and then the, the, can tale, I, can the I tales what I told yeah. him as well. Can I ask you this, Marty? How much, you know, how, how long ago was that? Two years ago, three years ago? I would say so, around about two years. Right, it's so two years. years. And how much have you received in two years? £75. Seventy-five pound, absolutely shocking, unforgivable. Hang your heads in shame, you horrible people. Horrible, yeah, horrible you know. But the, the, the you know, you don't do things like that to people. You go out your way, and if you got out of community minded, you go and help people. That's how I've brought up. Yeah. So where we're coming to now is that these these court cases. These they've got on the twenty-eighth. You you got fourteen days with yeah. the Marty, which expires on the. Um, he's got ten days. He's yeah. got ten days. Yeah. So. So yeah, to, get, to, to get these, yeah, these to invoices. give all those invoices and inventory and how many books you sold. Then they've got the twenty eighth on man, and then they've got 
uh, Brian to take care of. So where we're at this moment in time is that we're just waiting for them. They can't produce nothing because they're saying that, oh, Walcott uh, Publishing is this and Walcott Publishing is that. We can get a book done in 30 days. We've got artists, we've got this. The now, they're, now, they're, now they're saying it's... The uh, men. They're now saying it's Same not a company. Yeah, they're now saying it's not a company. Well, I signed a contract for that company. Yeah. You know, you signed a contract for that company. Yeah. They can't have it both ways. So where we're at this moment in time, we're just waiting for them to come back. I know, I said to the judge today, they're not going to give you it because the same ploy and the same way they've worked themselves with the other people involved in the case. And there's other people as well who have now come forward yeah. who said they're not getting their money. So what I would suggest, um, take my word, follow my path and make the mistake I did. Yeah. I was well warned by uh, Lee Marsh, uh, keep away from him. I didn't listen. I've apologised to Lee, yeah. who's a friend of mine. Uh, I didn't listen. But, you know, hey, we all make mistakes. I truthfully and honestly believe this now. I wish I'd never set eyes on him. I wish I'd never, ever met him. Exactly. Uh, you know, he, he, uh, just the absolute... The, well, I won't emphasise what I want. I won't go any further. But I'll say this now. They're not worth tuppence. They aren't worth tuppence. And I, I can honestly say this, is that I'm doing them for a breach of contract. I'm doing for copyright theft. I'm doing for failing to pay me on the... On the Lee Duffy documentary, and there's other things. You know, he wants me to give my service and give um, stories and all that, and profit from them, and give me now to give the homeless people. It doesn't work like that, not in my books. So beware. There's a court case that's coming up very shortly. You've got 14 days, or sorry, 18 days with me, 10 with him, and Brian's is coming up very soon, which you're going to let you know about very shortly. Brian's is up um, the Brian's is up the field. Yeah, yeah, so the it's, field. it's the field producer public yeah, company. Right. But they're going to do the same, but there's a good, you know, uh, so, so this there and so that there. Absolute rubbish. Yeah. Rubbish. It's not a count. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an attempt to appease the court, but the court is not that that daft. And when the judge says, to you, you know, you're wearing court, they're saying they're not in court. And then they admit that, yeah, I did get a letter, so you're wearing court. Just trying to hoodwink the judge, trying to hoodwink um it, it, sorry, sorry, there's been several judges in each of these cases. So where we're at now, we're very happy, but we just wanted everyone to know that they are in court. They keep saying they're not in court. I mean, I've I've had I've had um, text sent to me from this so-called publisher who said, You're not getting disclosure. <laughs> <You're> not <laughs> we proved you're wrong, aren't you? <laughs> He's not gonna give me disclosure. <laughs> Not going to give me disclosure, but yeah, not going to. <laughs> the judge is ordered, and they're telling me not going to give me it. So they're telling the judge, you're not going to listen to you. Well, I told that to the judge today. It's all going to come back to bite them on the backside. Because what you are doing, excuse me, Tate, what you are doing, they're telling them. Put them up, Marty. Go on, son. Tell them a go pack on. of lies. On, a pack of lies. Yeah. That's what you are telling. Yeah. Right? You haven't had this and you haven't had that. Right? Don't mention names. No, no. no. Uh, don't no. mention names. We no. know who they are, don't yeah. we? Well, everyone knows who, who they are. these scoundrels are. Yeah. Calm down, Marty. You'll end up punching the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'd like to do to pair you. Yeah, but anyway, look, so, so in, that, in that sad when you've got a man of his age having to feel so angry now. 75-year-old. Yeah. Robin, Robin the disabled yeah, come kid on, of fight. his inheritance of what he's doing. Hang your heads in shame. Disgusting people. Absolutely. You know, I've got no doubt Disgusting. as well. You know, the same man goes on about these Absolutely, wife being poorly and all that. <coughs> wife being poorly, absolute oh, rubbish, that's rubbish. Very, uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely disgusting. Right, we've you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Right, last word to you, Marty. I have to be ashamed of yourself. The the pairy, right, Marty. So that's good enough for you. Yeah, it's that's for everyone, the public, letting them know what's what's up and interesting is. I'd like to say thank you very much. I wouldn't and a good night from me. I wouldn't sell good night from him. <laughs> I wouldn't sell you a pint of What was that? No, no, no. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs>